How do you do? If this looks like it's a little too pl close and personal, it's because it is. The camera won't go back anymore because I, I don't want to get out of the car and go to the passenger side. I'm in front of the steering wheel and it barely fits. Like it's literally touching like glass to like camera LCD screen. So I just want to let you know if it's too personal or too close, I am sorry. Um, let's get comfortable, right? Because this just ain't going nowhere. Um, today's video, I like and lie, I didn't want to post anything. You know, I, I've been going through some stuff and uh, it's not a good feeling when you try really hard and uh, it doesn't go your way. That's kind of what I'm kind of going through right now. I'm, I'm pushing through and I just, it's such a fucking bummer when shit doesn't work out your way. This is the reason like a lot, the, a lot of the main reason why I like sharing my thoughts because I don't want to talk about like just happy moments. I want to talk about everything real and honest. Like not everything's going to work out, but it's what we do after it doesn't work out that makes the fucking difference in moving forward. I think that's important. And not, not a lot of people talk about that situation. Like, what do you do after you fail? Like, do you go eat something? Do you fucking, like, what do you do? Like, you go get depressed and you go to bed. Like, the world just crushed you. Like, what do you do after, right? Well, fuck, you know what I do? I look at it. I fucking try to figure out what the fuck happened. And then I diagnose it. And then I fucking move forward. And if I can respond to the motherfucker, I fucking do. There's a lot of things that I have that are pending. Um, It's not easy in, in any way, shape, or form, especially because I am alone and I don't really have a lot of help. But you know, that's not an excuse. I'm still going to find my way to get where I need to be. Even though I'm stressed out, I'm dealing with a lot of stuff. I'm having three, three surgeries. All right. Like, and then I have this important thing that just fell apart. It, it really fucking takes like the breath out of my air, you know, like it, it's a, it's a gut punch and uh, it fucking sucks. It really does. But you know what? Something about me that everybody should know once they meet me. I am a fighter. I will fight you until I can't move anymore or until I have no more air in my fucking lungs. Like, I just won't give up. Like, my mental health is so strong because mental health is a, it's a real thing that I don't let anybody or anything deteriorate my, my my life's path no matter who or what I go through because it's my life right and you only get one so you you gotta definitely like treasure the shit you have and the people around you and the memories that you create and the, and the stupid setbacks that are constantly in your fucking way we take destroy that every fucking time it comes by we, we dodge it we filter it we kill it we move on and, and we move forward to success that's what I'm about and I just can't believe when everything is so promised to me, like that pisses me off more. You know what it does? It puts a fire into my fucking ass to even excel even 10 times more than where I was. So you know what? People might cry or whatever, take a hot shower. You know what I do? I get my frustrations out by doing even better. All right, since that happened, I'm gonna improve even more fucking, 10 more times fucking better. Seven times, 10 times, whatever I can do, if I can do this this many times better to improve this area, then let's fucking do it. Because there's a reason things happen and the reason why it didn't work out. And, and the sooner and the faster I figure that out, the better I feel and the more it will never happen again. That's important. And that's the lesson of life. You got to learn. You can't just have everything work be so perfect and everything just works out so amazing. And I'm going to, I'm going to say this one thing. And I know, I don't know if someone's heard it or not. I, I it's always stuck with me in a weird way. No matter what you do, all right? And I hope this really resonates with people if you're watching or listening. No matter what you do, if you do everything fucking perfect to the T, to the book, everything is like done up on, on the situation you're dealing with, you did it as best as you fucking could. That's one way. Then you have the other person that didn't give a shit and just did whatever was there and just handled the situation however it could be handled. You know what the crazy part about these two scenarios is that one thing won't change the outcome the outcome is the fucking outcome right just let just think about that think about what i just said okay i'll repeat it a little bit you could do everything fucking right and you could do everything fucking wrong but the outcome is the fucking outcome and you start to think well what's the point right well the point is if you do try regardless of the outcome your odds are going to be better over here to lean towards what you feel that you want out of the outcome. That's the truth. This is straight up real fucking knowledge that people don't really talk about. I figure some stuff out and I gotta share it with people because a lot of people don't get that. And just because you lost your partner or you didn't get that job or your phone broke or someone cheated on you or someone left you 
or you have to move to a new, new place, regardless of what happens, you can be positive or fucking negative. It doesn't matter because again, the outcome's still gonna be the same, right? But the difference and the filtering that happens with that outcome is how you handle it. Now, you can handle it gracefully or as best as you fucking could, and it comes a little closer to, to where you want it to be, or you can just not give a fuck and it, it's exactly what it needs to be and it works out. You just don't know. But in life, we have those situations where it's just how it is. That's the fucking outcome. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Later.